All right, today we are going to share with you guys how much money we are making on YouTube. Apparently that's something many of you are curious about. And, you know, one of the things that we try to do is speak to topics that actually answer questions that you guys have. I mean, YouTube is part of our business and we don't want to treat this like it's just us making videos. We're actually trying to be helpful to you guys, trying to put something out there that y'all want to watch. So this is a big part of what we do if you guys haven't figured that out. But when I first started making YouTube videos two years ago, no, yeah. it was in the early spring of 2021, like February of 2021. I wasn't in any way doing it to make money. I didn't even really realize that that was a thing. I mean, I thought you had to be Mr. Beast or... <laughs> You're definitely not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I really, I mean, I thought you had to be somebody to make money off of YouTube videos. And it really didn't even cross my mind that that was something that was doable. So as time went on and my channel got monetized, it kind of turned into, oh my goodness, we can actually make some money with this. It's crazy to even think about that. So we want to share with you guys exactly what we made in our first fully monetized year of 2022. And we're going to do it month by month. So why don't you start us out by sharing what we did in our first month of 22? We made $230 in January of 2022. Okay. So that was our first month, obviously, of the year last year. And our channel, what we have discovered about our channel is it's very slow during the winter months. I mean, we're not doing much in our nursery, so we're not posting a lot of videos. There aren't a lot of people on YouTube looking for things pertaining to plants and nursery during that time. So our channel really takes a hit during the winter months, during the, the cold months, even early spring and late fall even. So four or five months, our channel just doesn't do a lot, or at least it hasn't yet. So that was that was for January. In February, we made $335. All right, and we're giving you this in round numbers, like to the nearest $5, I think, but it's- <laughs> They don't it, want to know that it was 78 I know, cents. it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're right. And what you're going to see and what I noticed is really interesting, the trend here. The earlier in the year, obviously January, we started out at this level and in February it goes here and so on and so forth through the year and then it tails off and it's really interesting to follow that. So we had a slight uptick in our overall watching in February from January and we were thankful for that. In March, we made $500. And $500 felt like a pretty good milestone. Uh, we had been there before from 2021, but we were only monetized for a few months in 21, so we're not even going to share that part. But this kind of felt like a good milestone back to that $500 in a month level, and it coincided with the spring season, with March, a season when things are starting to turn green and people are starting to think about what they're going to do in their nurseries and in their yards. March was a little bit better month. So in April, we made $1,740. Now this was a obviously over 3x increase from the previous month. And this was really interesting because this was the first time that we had ever had a video go viral. At least I would call it viral. I don't know the criteria for being viral, but instead of our videos getting a few dozen views per video for our top videos each day, Suddenly, we had one single video that was getting hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of videos a day. And that was our video titled, How to Start a Nursery in Your Backyard for $1,000. And if you kind of follow along on the analytics here, and you can see day by day by day through the year, yeah, a few dozen views, 20, 50, 70 views, something like that. And then all of a sudden in April, it just shot up and it got so many views. I could not believe that this was happening to a channel like ours. I mean, we're just people sitting in our yard at that time, sitting in our backyard, making videos. And here we have a video that's getting literally thousands and thousands of views yeah. a day. I mean, it was crazy. Do you remember when I told you about that? Oh, I was, I'm still astonished <laughs> that people watch our videos. It, I but, know. I'm it, so thankful. We're very thankful. thankful and, and, and that one video really got us off to a great spring in 2022. Mm -hmm. In May, YouTube paid us $2,480. So now for the first time, we've cracked the $2,000 in a month mark. And... Again, the How to Start a Nursery video was still pretty hot. It was cooling off. They don't stay hot long. And in May, our 
Hosta propagation video took off even more so than the how to start a nursery video. Now, you've got lots of different kinds of people, I think, watching our channel. I'm not really sure who all watches. We don't have any way of knowing that, but I think a lot of people who watch our channel are just people who like to garden and they're genuinely interested in things like how do you divide hostas or, you know, whatever they may be interested in that season. And then there's another whole set of people, and really these are the ones who we're aiming to teach, and that is those who are actively seeking to start their own nursery. So we've got two hot videos going at the same time. One is really reaching out, I think, to those who are striving to start their own nursery, and the other is to the gardener who just wants to know how to make more hostas. And both of those videos were getting thousands of views a day during a short period of time in May, and that accounts for such a high increase in our revenue for that month. So in June, we made $1,545. Another great month. I mean, we just didn't even, I know I've already said this and you're going to get tired of me saying it, but we just really didn't even know that we could make that much money off of YouTube videos, certainly not in a month. But the month of June, you can see it peaked in May and now it starts down in June. Probably our best video in June was our propagation video on hydrangeas. The other two videos are still doing great, but what has happened by now is the channel is kind of starting to level out, but it's leveling out at a higher, I guess a higher normal than it previously had been in January and February. Instead of that two and $300 a month, there's now a marked and noticeable increase in where what we think our, our floor is for our viewers. And that started to become evident in June. In the month of July, we made $1,345. Now, one thing that's really remarkable to me here is, again, you, you see the downtick in our views and correspondingly our revenue, but our subscriber base has now grown drastically. In the early spring, we were around four or 5,000 subscribers. And at this time, going into July, we're at like 20,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. So now there are many, many, many more people getting our notifications of our videos. And some of those people actually click on them. So our number of videos that are out there, almost all of our videos are evergreen kind of videos. You know, they're good anytime. They're not just relevant for one day or one season even. And now there's more videos and there's more people coming to watch. So despite the fact that the trend line is going down at this time of year, it's still higher than we ever thought it might be. In August, we made $1,135. Okay, and our probably the best video that month was probably our potting soil, our DIY potting soil. Remember, all the while, all the other videos are still getting lots of views. Still a downward trend in our viewership numbers at this point, but now it's getting towards the end of gardening season and towards the end of growing season. And it's getting towards the end of what we're actually doing out in our nursery week to week. And we just don't have that much to show you. So that shows in the numbers. In September, we made $1,040. And September's kind of wrap up time for us in our nursery at in our backyard at our previous location. We don't do fall moms. We don't do a fall tree sale or anything like that. So once our perennials are pretty much gone and we've sold all, all the green giants and emerald greens and yep. you know all the evergreens we can sell, we pretty much are have got it wrapped up for the season. October, we made $840. And just like September, the viewership decreases and October was no different, which takes us right in to November when we made... November, we made $625. So virtually no activity for us in the nursery in November. By then, we've normally had a hard freeze. Uh, we're starting to talk about maybe digging plants, maybe doing some of our things with dappled willows and uh, sharing some of those cuttings with you guys, that kind of thing by then, or maybe even into early December. But not a lot is going on. And by this time, we were starting to think about what videos could we make to begin kind of transitioning from our backyard nursery to nursery at our new place. And that's kind of what was happening at the end of November into December. Yeah, November really didn't even have maybe one or two videos because we were preparing yeah. We were preparing to move and it was hard to find things to it was things and, to share. And sometimes we just wanted to put a video out there like a Thanksgiving video or whatever, just to let y'all know that we're still here and we hadn't forgotten about you guys. But kind of the season had dictated that for us up to that point. We made six hundred dollars in the month of December. And that just hit our bank account yesterday. So <laughs> YouTube pays about three weeks later. 
So uh, that got us all the way through the end of the year. Our YouTube total for the year was $12,415. And that obviously averages out to just over $1,000 a month, and we could not be happier with that. We obviously have no idea what 2023 will bring to our YouTube channel, to our nursery, but we are working on all of this as hard as we can and as diligently as we can, and we are learning new things every week. I mean, if not every day, we're learning yes. something new every week that it's just part of the process of us kind of figuring out what it means to be entrepreneurs, like starting out your <laughs> own thing. I mean... Yes. At 44 years old, like this is not something that everybody does. So like, there's so Starting much for, so, yeah, so Starting much for us to learn, but we're working on it and we are loving sharing this with you guys. And we really do appreciate you guys coming to our channel every week to see what we're doing and see how things are going. And I appreciate all of the emails you guys send, all of your comments. We respond to as many of them as we can. We just can't possibly see all of them, but... Thank you so much for your interaction. I just want to say um, so many times on the videos, we are learning a business, but we're also learning YouTube and videos. And oftentimes we have sound problems. We have camera problems. I mean, our battery problems. They'll just be this crazy scratching sound in the audio. And you and I just look at each other like, like, I, I don't know. Idea. And I have learned some very valuable information about plugs and microphones this week that I hope to share with y'all in a video soon. Um, but we are always learning something new. And exciting news for 2023 is that we have a new camera and we're just trying it out. Yeah, so we're literally hopefully. trying out our first video on a new camera today. So, so listen, guys, all that's beside the point. We're rambling and we know it. So we want to end this right here. But thank you all for watching. I really do hope that this video was helpful to you. It may encourage you to start a YouTube channel. You never know. So I say pull your camera out like Sean Cannell at Think Media says. You got to just press record. So maybe that's what you guys need to do in your nursery or in your situation. Thanks for watching. We love y'all and we'll see you on the next one.